All right, so here's example three with curve sketching. So uh, in this example, the graph of f prime is given. We're going to sketch the graph of f, and let's just forget about that over there. Just, just a mistake. So um, we're given the graph of f primed. Now, uh, if you want to follow along with this worksheet, and if you didn't see the last couple of videos, uh, check the video description here. Uh, there will be a link, so you can click the link and then uh, open up that worksheet. You can download it, save it, uh, print it, whatever you want to do. So here's f primed, and we want to sketch the graph of f. So um, the key concept that we want to use here is the same one that we've used in the last couple of videos. So uh, remember, you know, we have used this uh, several times before also, so remember that um, f increases exactly when its derivative is positive, and f decreases exactly when its derivative uh, is negative. Okay, because remember, derivative is slope, right? So if a function is increasing, its slope ought to be positive. If a function is decreasing, its slope ought to be negative. So, um, you know, this shows up time and time again in calculus, so it's very, very important to keep this thing in the mind, uh, the back of your mind. Really, not even in the back of your mind, just kind of keep it in the front of your mind. Uh, very important here. So, um, all right, anyway, so we want to sketch the graph of f. Now, where do we start with the graph of f? Um, we don't really know where to start. It doesn't really matter uh, in this case anyway. We don't really care too much about that. So let's just, uh, well, let's see, what's f prime doing first? So, well, when we did example two, we were given the graph of f. So we looked at the graph and said, okay, where's it increasing? Where's it decreasing? So then we can apply this uh, property here. But now we're given the graph of f primed. So we want to look at it and say, okay, where is it positive and where is it negative? So here, um, f prime is positive this entire time here. So what does that mean? If f prime is positive, that means f is increasing. So let's just start f, uh, I don't know, down here. Okay. How do we know to start it down there? So again, we don't really know, but let's just start it down there just you know, for no real reason, I guess. Uh, so anyway, so f is going to be increasing this entire time that f prime is positive. Okay, so f increases that entire time. So f is increasing just like that. Um, and then what's happening right here? f prime is 0. So if the derivative is 0, what's happening to the graph of the function? Well, it has a horizontal tangent line, right? So there's a horizontal tangent line right there. And then what's happening down here? f primed is negative. And if f primed is negative, then that means f is decreasing. So now f starts decreasing, okay? f starts decreasing that entire time. Okay, and notice I'm kind of flattening it out again because right here, f primed is zero again. So there's another horizontal tangent line. Okay, so another horizontal tangent line. And then what's happening, f primed is positive again, and then zero again. Okay, so f prime is positive this whole time, and then zero again. So f prime is positive, which means f is increasing, so that's happening again. All right, and we do kind of want to make this uh, like a mirror image because, you know, this f prime kind of has this uh, odd symmetry, symmetric over the origin there, so remember odd functions. So it kind of has this symmetry going on here. So you might sort of expect that f also has a kind of symmetry, not really the same kind of symmetry. You know, um, f prime looks like an odd function, so actually f we might expect to be even, but you know, we'll talk more about that later. Um, so anyway, just you know, f prime is nice and symmetric like this, so we expect f to be similar. You know, it's not going to be all crazy, goofy, wacky, out of control. Um, but, you know, just follow along here. So just to recap real quick, f is in, or excuse me, f primed is uh, positive. So f is increasing. Okay, so this is the graph of f here. Let's label that. Um, and then f primed is zero. So there's a horizontal tangent line on f. F primed is negative. So f decreases. F primed is zero. So f has a horizontal tangent line. F primed is positive. So f increases. F primed is zero. So f has a horizontal tangent line. And then f primed is negative. So f decreases. And then we just kind of stop there because we don't really know what's happening beyond that. Okay, so that's the graph of f. So it's it's really pretty straightforward. Um, and again, we didn't really have to start here. We could have started up here, way up here, down here somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Um, just you know, start wherever. Uh, unless you're specific, unless you're told otherwise, then you know, start where you're told to. But if not, you can really start anywhere. And we'll talk more about that in a later video. So really, the reason is because um, the derivative of any constant is zero. So we can take this graph of f and shift it all the way up here. You know. Um, shift it vertically, so add a big constant to it, and then uh, the derivative will still be the same, okay? Because the derivative of any constant is zero. But again, more about that later um, once we start talking about integration and things like that. So uh, the important thing here is just keep this in mind, okay? And notice here, uh, f prime is positive, so f is increasing. f prime is zero, so f has a horizontal tangent line. 
f prime is negative, so f is decreasing. f prime is zero, so f is a horizontal tangent line. Um, f prime is positive, so f is increasing. Okay, f prime is positive, so f is increasing. And then f prime is zero, so f has a horizontal tangent line. And then lastly, again, f prime is negative, so f is decreasing. Okay. So that's example three with curve sketching. Uh, more examples coming up.